Allegations of MTA workers sharing photos of a Brooklyn man who'd been killed on the subway. Jakiba Dockery's husband, Richard, was killed back in January trying to break up a fight. Her attorneys say the money they're seeking is equal to the amount the widow of Kobe Bryant received in L.A. for a similar lawsuit. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor reports. Jakiba Dockery says she was supposed to be enjoying life with her husband of 20 years right now. Our kids are getting grown. I'm supposed to be traveling right now. But no, I'm alone now. Back in January, 45-year-old Richard Henderson was shot after trying to intervene when he saw two other passengers arguing about playing music too loudly on a three train in Crown Heights. The father of three, grandfather, and beloved crossing guard later died. Dockery says to her horror, she was told photos of her husband at the scene lying in a pool of blood were taken and distributed, she alleges, by MTA employees. How I felt when that picture came through my phone. It was just breathtaking, horrible, because my kids saw it, horrible. They should not have seen their father the last time, laying in his own blood. Dockery and her attorneys have filed a notice of claim. They intend to sue for $28.5 million. That's the same amount of money Vanessa Bryant, Kobe Bryant's widow, received after suing Los Angeles County over pictures first responders shared of victims of the 2020 helicopter crash. This should not happen again to nobody. Hoping this would stop it. Dockery says she was told her husband was still alive when he was brought to the hospital. The MTA is liable for the act of its employees. Perhaps instead of taking pictures, the person who was uh, an MTA employee should have done something about getting in medical care quicker. I don't have any comment on the lawsuit, but I do, I do say that if MTA staff were involved in distributing a photo or in taking a photo and sending it to others, and putting it up on the web, that is kind of a heartless thing, and we are actually conducting an internal investigation to see if that happened. I don't know that it did. His um, loving and caring just took his life that night. He could have just came home and mind his business, but he didn't. He intervened, yeah, and it cost him his life. Still, no arrests in Henderson's murder. If you know anything, give police a call. In downtown Brooklyn, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.